What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? My name is Marik and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Coach Nasa. And first and foremost, welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. Um, so many new people have been finding our channel lately and it makes us really excited. You guys have been sending some really positive and encouraging messages. Um, we've seen some not so positive <laughs> ones too, but we don't ever let that stuff bother us or get us down and you know, so we're good. Um, either way, welcome to the channel for those that are new. And for those that have already been here, thanks for always sticking with us and for watching. We're actually um, coming off of a feature. We just got featured on CNBC Millennial Money Series. And so if you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out. We'll leave the link in the description and it'll be up here somewhere. Um, but welcome back. We're yeah. happy to have y'all. Yeah, this was a big deal for us. Um, this is a channel that we've watched for a while and we always have especially enjoyed the Millennial Money um, mm -hmm. playlist. So just to be featured on it and for them to tell our story in such a beautiful way, even amid some really um, crazy times, crazy times, uh, tough times and a lot going on right now. Um, we just thought that the video came out really well. We were really excited. I wish we could say that this is the first time we're watching it. Uh, but technically, I mean, the thumbnail, we, we just, we couldn't avoid it. We just had to click. Uh, so we actually already watched it like once or twice yeah. earlier today just to see how it all came out. But it, it just came out like six or seven hours ago. So this review is not the first time we're seeing it, but it is pretty new, um, you know, as far as since it's been published. So you guys are still yep. getting a pretty fresh uh, reaction, reaction to from it. Us, so. And when we first watched it, we both kind of were just to ourselves anyway and kind of just soaking it all in. So I yeah. think this will be a more genuine reaction anyway. Yeah. So. so let's jump right into it. When I got those two jobs, yeah. never once did I think that I would be back in a position where I'm, oh my gosh, I'm not making any money. Got to keep fighting you know, mm -hmm. financially and, and keep, you know, striving to get to a more stable place because a lot of the things that we feel security in can be gone in an instant. My hair feels a better. So first and foremost, so what did you say? Your hair could... <laughs> I said my hair could have looked better. could have. The ends look poofy, but <laughs> natural problems. That's what she's thinking about right now. <laughs> we saw some of the early comments and people mm -hmm. were ragging us for, uh, our salary but yeah it, it, like I, I was only making just to be completely frank I was only making that money um that amount of money that was featured on there for three months and then I got those other two jobs and started making way more money instantly yeah so this is really just a snapshot of three months of our lives yeah um versus if this would have been shot before else. we started getting out of debt it would have said 75,000 then if it was mm -hmm. shot when we were getting out of debt, it would have been over a hundred thousand. Right. Then we were back down to this amount when we shot this. Then we were actually back up for a little while yeah. before all the layoffs and everything with you know what's happening right now across the country. So it's a snapshot in time. It's not the full picture. It's not our end point. It's not. Nobody's giving up. So um, yeah. I don't know. It's just I don't know why people mm. always see it that way. But yeah. So either way. About that. Yeah. That's where it is on the income situation. tell where we went to eat yeah oh that was cheddars y'all i love cheddars i'm always going listen it don't gotta be expensive but it gotta be good and cheddars is fire yeah. and shout out to the producers that came and filmed with mm -hmm. us because they actually took us out to lunch and paid yeah. for it and everything so that was cool we, yeah um really enjoyed that it was kind of weird like a little bit like because you're like in public and you're eating and, and then, report, like you're yeah. filming and so like the waitress is like wait who are they mm -hmm. and, you know a little stuff like that so it's just a little bit different yeah. for us my name is Coat Nasa Bush. I'm 28 years old. My name is Marie Bush, and I'm also 28. Together, we make $56,000 a year. And we live in Dallas, Texas. I thought one of the comments was pretty funny. I can't lie. Somebody was like, she's so pretty, but she went for like a pizza. Babe, a you don't bring A pizza man. Like... <sighs> We're not supposed to be commenting on the comments anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, my bad. <clears throat> For the past three years, I've been teaching. I teach high school math. But since we've moved to Texas, I am taking the year off to get recertified and find a school home here. So in the meantime, I'm just serving while I start taking a few tests. I actually just recently started two new jobs at the same time, serving at one place and bartending at another. I was really excited, making good money. I actually also picked up some tutoring work. Want to talk about that? What? Your two jobs. Oh, 
I was serving <laughs> at one restaurant, a breakfast spot, and then I was bartending at um, a hotel, and that was, it was a pretty good gig, y'all. I was making some, I was making some money. What's your most exciting? Uh, what's the most exciting thing about bartending? Exciting. It's pretty nerve wracking when you don't know what the heck kind of drinks you're supposed to be making. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's the first time ever bartending, but I got the old fashioned down pack. So if you want one, hit me up. I got you. But really, just guest interaction for real, for real. Yeah, she likes learning how to make new drinks, and she'll come home and tell me the little ins and outs. Like, <laughs> oh, you can never shake this, and you can never. Okay, do that. he be ragging on me. Yeah, so real quick, yep, 204 square foot tiny house on wheels. We've been living in it for two and a half years now. Yep. Um, bought it in 2017 in the summer, moved in in November, and have been in it ever since. Uh, we really just wanted flexibility, ownership, and like a future return on investment. Um, and now we live in a tiny house community, which is actually quite the attraction. I'm literally looking at some people that are driving Pull by. Pulling up just right so now. they can see it they're all and pulling out their phones so they can Literally, run. like it's crazy like people go crazy over this place especially on the weekends like people just come through pull all up the time. and like they pull up in the business <clears throat> parking lot next door and they'll like stop and like take pictures and they'll like get out their cars and sometimes they'll even come up and be like can i ask you a few questions yeah yeah <laughs> so we started with one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars worth of debt more than that though now we have zero, zero. we started with lots of debt i think about 12 debt accounts we had several um credit cards different y'all see them papers and y'all might think they're props no we really sat yeah. down and wrote budgets every single on month paper. on paper when we were getting out of debt yeah they're we're literally in this drawer right behind yeah, us right we're not now. getting rid of them <laughs> keep saying yep. really stop doing anything but working in order for us to spend time with each other we was i was like i would go after work and go sit in the car while he drives around and, like delivers pizzas that was like our you know, together time. It was a really busy time. Mm, yeah. Like, it was crazy. We jokingly called the house the recharge station because like we would only just come here to eat, sleep, and then yeah. go right back out the door. We worked together at PF Chains for a little while. She was always telling me I was slow. I it was not, <laughs> baby, I was Because when the food comes into the window, like you have to like trade up really fast to get it out to the tables. And she would always tell me that I was like, I, I, would get, I ain't gonna lie, I would get a little bit flustered, but it was just, it was hot back there. You got a bunch of servers in your ear, you know. <laughs> Fun times. And so at the end of the day, we'll need to get some jobs, like figure out some other ways to create streams. Of That's our serious face. When she started doing her <laughs> hand model, <laughs> at the end of the day, we go, that's, that's when you know she's serious. For real though. <laughs> During our debt-free journey, we concentrated more on paying down a debt instead of building our emergency fund, which I still feel really good about. I just wish that the year after we got out of debt, that we would have been a little bit more serious building up that fund because it could have been, it absolutely could have been built up. I stay reaching his way a little bit. Yeah. And I think we enjoyed for a little bit too long and now look at us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is, what can we do? Like dwell on the past? Oh, the long two years. Change, so. oh, the long right. two years. So. Not gonna change, just look forward to the future and we gonna get it together now. So it is what it is. Um, and it's been dipping tremendously and a lot of people are saying, you know, pull it out, pull it out, but we believe that it will, you know, resume back to where it was and go even higher. Just to clarify, we're definitely not, not touching considering like, it. I didn't, we didn't even say, consider it at yeah, all. I didn't say that very firmly in the video. So people yeah. are like, don't do it, don't do it. Like, no, we're not. We understand. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's a roller coaster and you only get hurt if you jump off. Right. right. So, yeah, we're not touching it at all. No <sighs> plans to touch it at all. Were you pause this all like crazy? <laughs> pretty, uh... I was like, <clears throat> pretty standard crazy face for you. Yeah, I get excited real easily. What's, What's up, YouTube? YouTube? It's your boy, Marik, and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Called Nasa. And in this video, we're going to be sharing with you six steps to how we paid off $125,000 in just 24, 24 months. months. Now that we are monetized, we're saying, okay, well, this is something that we can do from our homes and, like, get videos out and hopefully people stay at home and adhere to the things and maybe watch our videos. So yeah. that's also don't, another Don't worry thing. about Netflix. Just come over <laughs> to the channel. Yeah. <laughs>
Looks like you guys are already heating that advice, <laughs> so we appreciate you being here. Um, but for sure, we it, the one the silver lining out of all of this is mm -hmm. it's been extremely, extremely relaxing and fun to be home, to spend time together, to have more time to record videos. I mean, we've just been having a blast with that. Yeah. So. You know, how can we, first of all, own something? Get a return on investment from that, that thing that we're owning. That was the famous also, thumbnail. Uh-huh. That was the thumbnail right there. Yeah. Huh. You didn't see that before? Well, I knew we squeezed past each other, but I, I guess I just didn't, didn't remember exactly was, yeah. where it came from. But yeah, that's where the thumbnail came from. When we're done living in it, uh, we plan to, to rent it out on Airbnb. Um, I ran the numbers, and you know, at the price point per night that I'm thinking about, I think we can probably turn thirty-five to forty-five thousand dollars a year off. Of Some early people were ripping me for this. They're yeah, like, God, you're not gonna get yeah. thirty-five. Don't, don't, don't go too in, into it. But we <laughs> do have experience with Airbnb before, like. We've literally done it, and we've like brought in a thousand dollars a month off of Airbnb in the past. So yes, this was a spare bedroom, spare bathroom inside of our apartment. Right. Anytime you are in a shared unit where you share the space with the host, you can't really charge as much as if the person gets a like a standalone like roof over their own mm -hmm. head, where there's, it's separate from the host. So number one, that's in our favor. Number two. Um, they have more space, a kitchen, yeah. a bathroom, all these and things. And it's a tiny house. People yeah. live to yeah. do Airbnb yeah. on tiny houses. So we made a thousand dollars a month, and that was thirty nine dollars a night. We yeah. were only charging thirty nine bucks a night. We can definitely get more than that out of here. And then the other thing is, he was like, I think the comment said like sixty percent occupancy or something like that. And occupancy is a lot greater than that, especially depending on where you're at. We mm -hmm. literally, if we wanted a night without an Airbnb guest, we had, we had to, to go and block it off. it off. Like we would literally sit down and go. Hey, what night do we want to just have to ourselves or do we want to do something special or when are we having people over? And before the month would begin, we will mark off those days so they didn't get booked. If we didn't mark it off, it, it was, was getting, getting booked. booked. Yep. So I know I can do this, um, but, you know, people are going to have their own thoughts yeah. regardless. Even on our channel just a week ago, we were like having fun, you know, making light of, you know, all the bulk buying of the toilet paper and all of that. And Which then, is still a little crazy, by yeah. the way. But. And now one week later, it's like, wow, like our actual like jobs are gone and we've never seen anything like this in our adult working lives. Mm -hmm. uh, with SARS, we were, you know, kids. Shout out that picture. Oh, like that the first picture, picture we yeah. Had. From when we were, when we like, First, we're dating back in middle school. That's our eight, eighth grade spring fling picture. Yeah. We use that thing on everything, but it's so cute. It's like the only picture we have from middle yeah. school, and it's sad. I know. I wish we had more, but either way. And then there she is as a uh, little concessions girl <laughs> yeah. at the, one of the football games. At our high school, yeah. I would just say stay calm. Take a look at where you're at. You know, Do everything you can on paper and just try to ride it out and... We all are going to come out of it on the, on the other side. Aww. <sighs> Every time it goes by, I'm like, dang, that was eight minutes. And we was pausing it. That's like a quick eight minutes. Yeah. That was really fun, though. Yeah. It was a really cool experience. Yeah. What are your overall thoughts about the whole thing? How did how that turned out? I thought it turned out really, really, really well. Um, you know, the whole money thing, <laughs> That that's the one thing I would change about it. But, I mean, now it's what do you less mean, than money that. Thing? Like the amount of money that's posted on there, but now it would say what living on zero dollars. <laughs> it's not zero. We we got some things in the works. Yeah, we, we do, we do, coming. we do. But still, so we're gonna make it. We're gonna be good. Um, the other thing I was gonna say is it had a totally different tone before. Oh yeah. Um, everything you know started happening. You know when we filmed this, it was actually a couple of months back, and then we actually got back with the producers and did like a like a zoom type call to like do the update so i think that yeah. totally changed the scope of the video but i think it's important for people to see you know current and up-to-date right. info mm -hmm. so that's kind of where we're at right now and and uh so we just got to keep keep pushing figure it out and mm -hmm. uh you know just keep sharing and i'm probably gonna watch it another five times so that tells you how much i love it yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, and I hope y'all stick around and go watch our other stuff. And thanks so much for watching this. And tell Graham Stefan, hurry up and come on and do hey. our, <laughs> our reaction. All right, so we'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. All right, peace. peace.